Hi, this is Rocky Hall, and I am in Algodonas, Mexico, and I'm speaking to the mayor of Algodonas, and he has uh, graciously agreed to give me an interview, and I'm sorry about my camera, guys, as it has not been uh, focusing. So he's just going to be a little blurry. Yep, it's bad. Gosh, bless it. Okay, again, this is Rocky Hall. I'm in Algodonas, Mexico, and we came down here to get my daughter's teeth fixed. And introduce yourself, tell me who you are and what you do here. Hi, my name is Christian Camacho. I'm the mayor of Algodonas, and I'm here to tell you how safe and nice it is to come to our town. Yeah, uh, how long have you been the mayor? How did you get the job? And uh, you also work in a pharmacy here? Yeah, uh, I've been the mayor only for four months. Uh, we depend on Mexicali. My boss is the mayor of Mexicali. He's the main mayor. And my job in Algodones is to, get, to look for your safety, for you to be safety, for you to get the service of what the city provides. And make sure everything works. <laughs> Correctly done. I have some water coming, so I'm checking the door. Somebody just knocked, so I'm actually just checking the door. So I'm sorry, go ahead. So, uh, in Algodones, we have a population around 4,500 people, between 45 and 600, and 600 people. During the winter, we have up to 8,000 people. Our town is one of the safer towns in Mexico. I agree with that. It's, we try to keep it clean. People in town is very nice, uh, very kind. Our town, it's real on the tourists, on the American and Canadian tourists. So when you come to Algodones, you won't feel like you're in Mexico, you won't feel like you're in the United States, you won't feel like you're in Canada. You're just gonna feel that you are in Algodones. This is something else. It is a truly a different experience because there is such a mix of people here and in the summertime like we are in now, August, the population of tourists that comes in goes down substantially and the number of vendors that are here is uh, lower as well because they have gone other places. Yeah, I, I believe that in the winter we have up to 10,000 people coming down every day. Every day. Every day, except for Sundays, the day go down to 4,000. Mm -hmm. But during the summer, it goes down to 600, between 600. And a busy day during the summer, we, we, I would say we have 1,500 people coming in. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, the summertime. If you can handle the heat, it's the slowest time to come down here, and you will get in and be seen. Uh, can I ask you what the healthcare in America has done to your business, or done for your business? Well, I, I believe that in the, the difference between Mexico and the United States is in the United States you have to pay insurance for everything, so that makes the price go up significantly. So I believe that the health, the American health system, help us. <laughs> to help more, to have more, to help more people. Plus, uh, they don't see our town only as a business. They see it as a vacation because when they come here, they feel comfortable. They yes. relax. Yes. They 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 just want to see something different. People that ca has come to Algodones, they're not looking for fancy uh, buildings. They're not looking for beach. They're just looking for relaxing. Yep. They want to get their service, they want to have the dent their dental work. We have top quality dem dental work in Algodones, top quality uh, medication. So they and I want to agree with him on that as I've been coming down here for a very long time and these are the glasses that I got last Monday. I paid half price what I paid in the States and they are awesome and I got them two hours from the time I did the uh, exam to the time that I was wearing them, two hours, half price. And on top of that, we have to say thanks to, uh, to the lawyer, uh, Gustavo Sanchez, who, who's the mayor of Mexicali, because he always take care of us, he always send our, uh, he always take care of our security, sending enough police, enough uh, police cars, he, he's, uh, to keep it safe. Yeah, to keep us safe. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
when you want to come to Algodones, I will just have to say, welcome to Algodones. This is the safer town in Mexico. People are so nice. How easy would you say it is to uh, come through the border and to find things once you get over here? How, how easy would you say that is? Uh, well, it, it's relative easier because, well, we are just a few minutes from Yuma, Arizona. We're just a few minutes from Yuma, Arizona. We are half an hour from El Centro. Mm -hmm. So, El Centro, California and Yuma, Arizona is what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. And our neighbor town, well, it's just my name, Andrade, California. It's just a name because it used to be a, a sleepy hollow on the other side, but it's not there anymore. Right. Now we have a huge Kishan Hotel. A, ca a casino over there. You yeah. have a, a, the Indian Reservation has put in a, this huge casino, and I did that in my last video. I drove around it and made sure that they had the phone number and address of the place and everything else. And they send people down here as well. Yep, yep. So it's very easy now with the GPS. You can just put down uh, Juma, Arizona, or even mm -hmm. Algodones or Muller City, and it will tell you exactly where we are. We're only a few meters from the border, so actually we're border to border to the United States. Yes. And, and you just come out. You can you can leave your car on the other side on the parking lot and then walk across. It's easier for me to do that. It's just it's so easy just to park your car pay the six dollars, walk across, do some shopping, eat some tacos, eat whatever it is that you want, uh, and uh, the sprucing up of the town that you've done in the last 20 years is really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, actually Algodones became uh, a, a tourist town on the 80s. Mm -hmm. Back in the 80s we had the, uh, uh, the first dentist came to Algodones, his name is Dr. Magaña. He decided to come to Algodones, to move to Algodones, which was a pleasant town. Uh, he started working with Mexicans and Americans, and the first Americans they had they have come to Algodones, they realized that they were saving 80, up to 80 percent versus the United States. Right. Mm -hmm. And they found out that there was a top quality dental work. Mm -hmm. So they start telling their friends. So every day, more people start coming to Algodones. They, they decide to start coming to Algodones. So our people, the people that it comes to Algodones, it's word of mouth. Our publicity is word of mouth. Now we have the medias, you know, and it's really easy, but back in the 80s we didn't have Facebook or we didn't have... Uh, <laughs> right, it was all word of mouth. All word of mouth. It yeah. was. Yeah. And I've been coming down here for approximately 20 years. And I've, I've been telling a lot of people about this, but I think the video will help more as oh, I yeah. showed how to come through the border, how to go back through the border, how easy it was, the easy access, uh, interviewed some, some locals. How long have you been living here? Do you live in town? And uh, how much family do you have here? This I, is a really family-orientated yeah. type I, I, place. I've been living in Algodones since 1991. So I so basically I'm 34, 34 years old. So basically all my life I has been living here. And I have my daughter, my three year old baby, my wife, I have my brothers, my sisters, and my nephews. So you you have a lot of family that uh, work in the pharmacy that you're in and in other places and. Yep. So you can send or, I mean, this is how I got him. The dentist that my daughter is in, the young man working behind the desk, called him and said, hey, she wants to do an interview with, and he gave me the map, sent me down here, and he is gracious enough to spend the next 20 minutes with me doing an interview before he runs off and does his real work. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's always nice when you talk good about your town because we work hard to keep it safe, mm -hmm. we work hard to keep it clean, we work hard to do top quality work on anything we do. Uh, if you talk about pharmacy, if you talk about uh, dentists, if you talk about uh, Mexicans, artisans, we, we try hard to keep our town good for you. Clean, clean. safe, uh, relaxing, 
uh, yeah, I mean, you get uh, bombarded a little bit when you first come through the gate, but mm -hmm. uh, relax, chill out. They're not going to pickpocket you. Uh, you are, you know, welcome here. You're very welcome here. And it is safe, and it is nice. And just relax. Uh, find yourself something to eat. Look around, shop around, find a dentist, find some eyeglasses. Literally two hours. Two hours it took me to get those, and I'm wearing them, and oh my god, I love my glasses. And don't forget about our delicious margaritas. Ah, I think it's an international law that if you come to Algodonas, you have to have a Corona or a margarita. Yeah. I don't drink anymore, so that that's out of the, the picture for me. But I do believe it's an international law. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's relaxing. Yes. Yeah, it is to go sit Only two in. Or three, not, no, not more. no, 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 no. Because then the locals aren't even going to like you because you're just going to be a jerk. But uh, to go into the um, the courtyard over mm. there, the nice yellow courtyard, and yeah. that has improved so much. Paradise. It's so relaxing yeah. in there. It's it's a nice bright yellow, yes. and there's all kinds of shops in there. They've got the dentist and the massage and the beauty. the beauty parlor for the women. And uh, they got a bar right there and a restaurant, and it's just outside, and it's just very relaxing. And then, if you decide to stay in Algodones for a couple of days, we we have three hotels now. Oh! And they are provided with uh, all the service you need, security. Oh. So if you decide to stay, you're welcome to stay. So what you need to do is call them, have, send somebody over to pick me up, so I can go interview them and and look at their motels and get that on camera. Actually. We're going to open a hotel on September, but it's on construction right now. So September, it's going to be open. Oh, that's way cool. Uh, would it be possible for me to go over there and take a look and maybe do an... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so maybe... So, and this is how we do it, folks. I ask him to make a call. He makes a call. I get over there. It's bam. So if you come into a pharmacy, if you come into the Phoenix Pharmacy, and yes. that's where we are, is the Phoenix Pharmacy, ask them, hey, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for that. Can you help me? And they are so helpful, and they're so nice, and they're so kind, and they'll find Find somebody to just show you the way and point you in the right direction and it's just like that it's it's a family town everybody here is probably related to everybody else yeah somehow we're related right somehow we're, some of us we're family some other we're real friends we grew up together mm -hmm. in our, our goal is for you to make your life easier when you come to Algodones yeah for you to find what you're what you're looking for yep but for you for us, it's very important when you leave and you say, I love Algodon, I want to come back. And then you're going to tell a friend. And yeah. you're going to tell a friend, and you're going to share it on Facebook. Yeah. And you're going to share it on YouTube. And you're going to tell all your friends, and then he gets more customers. So that's how it works. Actually, right? we don't see it as customers. We see it as friends. Because every time you talk to a person, you exchange experience. Yes. So you learn. Yes. Even if you haven't been in a place, Yes, by listening to the other place, you get interest to go there. Right. If you don't have the chance, now you know yes. how it works at different places that you, for some reason, you're not able to go. Yeah. So you're sharing experience, and that's very important. Well, and the, some of the people that watch my YouTube channel, they say, you know, I live my life through you. So I get to come down here, and I get to experience this stuff, and then they get to experience it, and they can share it with a friend. And one of their friends is going to come down here. It's going to happen. Yeah. You know, so we all share experiences, and that's how we learn. Um, oh, uh, is there anything that else that you would like to share? Because I think that we've covered everything that I wanted to. Do you want to talk about your pharmacy? Oh, I just want to tell you, in Algodones, uh, we, our pharmacy is Phoenix Pharmacy, but we have, uh, in Algodones, we have like 18 pharmacies, and I can mm -hmm. guarantee you that all we're going to give you good quality uh, yep. medication at a real low cost. Yep. So you can be sure that anytime you shop in Algodones, you're going to have the top quality products at the best price. And it's not like Rite Aid and Walgreens in the States where it seems like their shelves are empty. Their shelves are pretty full here. They keep a good stock on hand. Uh, and a lot of you guys are noticing that about the States that the shelves are pretty much empty. And you can't, like just now I picked up 10 tubes of Retin-A uh, for a friend and that will last her the rest of her life. 
and she will probably share it with some friends and it was very inexpensive very very inexpensive and it's really expensive in the states so to help my friend I just grabbed her a uh, couple tubes of Retin-A so Melody that was for you Bo Bo <laughs> sorry <laughs> a plug there for my friend um, anything else no I just want to say thanks for uh, take a look on our town take to uh, put interest in our town and I just want to tell you that in Algodon is uh, we are ready to help you mm -hmm. and that in Mexicali they're taking uh, they're looking over us so to keep our time our town safe perfect and that's Perfect. It. So we have thanks to give to the mayor, mayor of uh, Mexicali yeah. because he actually sends his uh, police force and stuff down here to help with yes, this as well. His name so, is Gustavo Sanchez. Gustavo Sh Sanchez. Sanchez. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, I, that I think is all I have. And what I'm going to try to do is get over to the motel, uh, if we could arrange that. And uh, I didn't know we had a motel going in. This is awesome because I myself will stay down here. That's Thanks. what I will do. Yeah. So I hope to be one of the first customers in the motel. And yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is Rocky Hall. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, share this with your friends. If you want some good dental work, eyeglasses, and a good uh, experience in Mexico that's nice and friendly and safe. Okay, this is Rocky again. And what we have done is... I got a ride from the mayor in his own personal vehicle over here. He's going to show me the new motel that's going in. And this was literally walking distance, but he took it upon himself to drive me over here. Tell us what you got going on. So this is going to be the new hotel in Algodone. It's going to be, we're going to have 32 rooms. 32 rooms. Uh, right here is going to be the uh, reception. Reception desk and center is going to be right here. So it is still under construction. On the back is going to be the kitchen. Uh, a what? We're going to have a restaurant. Oh, a, a kitchen. So There's going to have a kitchen in the back. So the reception, in the, in the back. reception center right here. There's going to be a kitchen in the back. And we're going to go out to the restaurant area. So the restaurant's going to be up here. So you're going to come up here to be in the restaurant. And what this is going to do is give you a view of Algodonas. Of Algodonas. And I am going to be one of their first customers. This is so, going to be the restaurant area. This is going to be the restaurant. They're going to have tables out here and chairs out here. And so you get to see the rooftops. You get to see California right there. Actually, literally. We can see the casino from here. Oh, we can and see the here. casino. Maybe. The we can see it from the other within, from the other side. Okay, from the other side, you can actually see the casino. And you guys saw the casino in my other video where we drove in. So you see the Mexican flag right there, and you see the... the entry. That right there is the entrance. So you could walk down here. This is literally walking distance. This is not far at all. And to me, I feel safe, so... 32 rooms. They look like they're going to be very nice. Go hopefully, ahead. Hopefully. Hopefully very nice, let's he says. One of the rooms. Let's uh, let's see one of the rooms. <clears throat> oh, not that one, it's locked. He's got a key. We're going to see one of the rooms. They've got them all locked up, got them nice and safe, keeping them clean. See, as you can see, they're going to be uh, small rooms because we wanted to keep cheap. We wanted to have the best quality, but a real fair price. You can see the rest of it now. Awesome. So it's, it's uh, pretty tiny, but the bathroom is nice and big, nice big huge shower. And these are going to be nice. What do you think the price is going to be? We're going to have three sizes. We're going to have the, these, the small, tiny ones, and then we're going to have double rooms, and then we're going to have, oh, you, you'll see the biggest one. Okay. And it's going to go from $40 up to $70 per room. I'll spend 40 bucks to come over here. Yeah. And Relax. It's, and it's going to have everything you need. Have a restaurant downstairs, get to eat. Let's go and see one of the biggest ones. Now we're going to go see one of the bigger rooms. 
Okay, we got a, we're gonna have a swimming pool in. So they're putting a swimming pool in right now. And that will be nice. That will be nice and relaxing. That guy in there, he's in charge. Boyo, Boyo, He's in charge. He's an engineer. He's an engineer, so he's down there engineering. Or he's talking baseball. Probably talking baseball. Oh, that was. Boyo, this is going to be one of the biggest rooms. And they're, sorry, they're that's okay. They're all locked up, so maybe we'll get a key. But this is one of the bigger rooms. This is going to be. Uh, you can see through here. I can see through here. Yes, I can. You know what? I can squeeze through there. I bet you. <laughs> Look at that! I squeezed right through. I just squeezed through that little tiny hole. <laughs> that's a little dirt. Okay, so this is going to be the seventy-dollar room. And they've got AC, so you want AC. There's the AC right there. That's that's. The, is that the AC? Oh, that's the AC. And this is the TV. That's a television. Yeah. Okay. This now, room is going to have uh, two beds and a little living room on this area. Two beds in a living room. Yeah. So for seventy bucks, you can sleep four people in here. Cut the cost. Come down here. Stay the night. There's going to be a restaurant downstairs. A little tiny swimming pool. This is so relaxing. This will be so relaxing. Very nice. We'll take a look at the bathroom real fast. Nice, good sized bathroom. Nice and big. I love tile work. I do. I just absolutely love tile work. So we get to go out the front door now because we broke in. We broke in. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. Yep, gonna have uh, gonna have the railing up to be nice and safe. Yeah, they're gonna accommodate the senior people as well because that's a lot of people that come down here as well. So here's another one of the. Is this one of the smaller rooms? Or medium. medium. This is a medium room. So uh, you're gonna have a bed in here. Probably a chair, a desk. Yeah, bed, a chair, little table. Okay, and bed. TV. So this is a this is the medium size room right here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be coming down here and staying the night. That's what I will do. So they're working on the railing down there, as you can see. They're grinding and. There'll be stairs down here to go to the pool. Goes right to the pool. And then go up to the. Um, we're gonna have a penthouse. Oh, we got a penthouse. We have a penthouse. This is we're gonna be for the high rollers. Wow. Two, two bedrooms. Two That's beds. One of the bedrooms. His own bath. There's the bathroom. Kitchen. Kitchen. Living room. Living room. So it's a, a pretty much an apartment. Yeah. Wow. And this is the other room. Another bathroom and another bedroom. Yep. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchenette. Wow. <coughs> what do you think this will go for? I would say this will go for 120. Wow. That's very reasonable. So, because sometimes the whole people want, the, the whole family want to come. Yes. Like eight members of the, of the family, so they can stay comfortable. They can right. Do, there is some Russians. They come with us, and they like to cook their own food. Yeah, yeah. They have their own food. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat down because I love yeah. the vendors down yeah, here. They do. they taste really good. When I go to somewhere, I like to taste the food. Yes. From the area, because yes. every place has a different flavor. It no does. No matter if you eat. Uh, potatoes and eggs. Right. Some people say, oh, no, it's not potatoes and eggs, it's eggs and potatoes. So that means they cook it different. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I would not be cooking. I would be down at the vendors eating and eating local. Uh, I always find where the locals eat and I always eat there. I do, I do. So this is good. This is a perfect place. And for the price, uh, you can't really beat the price. That is really reasonable. You'd go across the border and pay that just for one room. Now we have a better view. And this now we is. we can see the, the casino across the border. 
Oh, I see it. I see the casino. I see the casino right there underneath that railing right there where my finger is, is the casino. So I doubt my camera is going to do it because it's just a piece of junk. So that is the casino. Right when you get off Interstate 8 came, coming out of San Diego or uh, Yuma, Arizona, and this is how close we are. And then you get to see that the border is literally right there. And this is the deck. And they're doing all kinds of construction over here. And there will be oh. another clinic, dental clinic right there. You can see they're working in the front. Another, another dental another clinic. Dental clinic, yeah. And this is Molar City. Yep. Welcome to Molar City. Molar City. Damn straight. Okay. Awesome. All right, folks, this is uh, very, very reasonable, very uh, nice and small. I like that. I really like that. You're not going to get a bunch of people in here, and they're going to have a swimming pool down there, and it's going to be really nice. And for 40 bucks a night, yeah, I will stay here. I will swim in their pool. I will eat their food, and most of you guys know I don't drink. So I will be coming. Yes, I will. Can we go down this way or is there too much? Okay, we'll go down this way and there's a... Uh, bam, there's the swimming pool. All right, and then you've got all these rooms down here. This is going to be nice. Awesome. Okay, we're ready. This is... Uh, this is it. Rocky Hall out. I guess I should have showed you this before I started eating it. <clears throat> but I've got some uh, chorizo with eggs and some beans and rice. And the flour tortillas are always homemade. And they're so soft and uh, flaky and yummy. And some chips and salsa. And uh, I recommend this when you come down because your electric lights and it's just really hot and stuff like that. But I just had to show you what I was eating because it's so yummy. Like I said, the flour tortillas are all made by hand and so they're all flaky. Chorizo and eggs, beans and rice, yummy. I, I love it. And I'm in uh, the little food court here. When I was coming down here 20 years ago, it, it so did not look like this. This is so nice. I love the yellow. It's so cheery. There's a little bar right there. You got your dentistry in here. You got your uh, hairstylist. You've got all your stuff you can you can want right here. It's uh, shaded with two big, huge trees. There are two two trees in here, and it's nice and shaded. So yeah, you get leaves in your meal, and I love it. Uh, it's so so yummy. That's it. Just had to show you my food. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for sharing, and uh, I want to thank everybody for every, all the help they have helped me with with the uh, other situation as well. Rocky out, Los Algodones, Mexico, having breakfast, yummy.